to just maths. Today we are going to learn about area of regular shapes. So here two words are most important area and regular shapes. We'll try to understand what are regular shape first then we'll see what is area. So regular shapes are those shape which has equal angles or its sides are equal. So let us take some example like rectangle. Rectangle has equal sides, a square has equal side or right angle triangle has equal side or we can say that the uh, angle which has equals all the angles are equal then we can say that that those type of shapes are called regular shapes. Now what is area? <clears throat> area means the amount of surface enclosed by a closed figure is called area. So uh, you must have heard that what is the area of your house or what is the area of this field. So what, what means area, area here? Area means the amount of surface occupied by that place. So we can say that the, that is the area of that place. Now when we learn the area of regular shape, there are some formula which we keep in mind because through those formula we can solve our problems very easily. So first of all, we learn area of rectangle. Area of rectangle. We all know that this is the rectangle. This is called length. This is called breadth. So now, what is the area of rectangle? The area of rectangle is length multiplied by breadth. This is the area of rectangle we will get by multiplying length and breadth. Here, the most important thing which you always keep in mind that the units also plays a very important role. Suppose the length comes in centimeter or the breadth comes in uh, like meter or millimeter in any form. So what we can do? First, we'll change our unit to one unit. If it is in millimeter, then you can convert it into centimeter. Or if it is, if you can do that, you can convert it into uh, this millimeter. So we'll always keep in mind that our unit should be same. Or when our result will come, what we'll write? We'll write our solution will be in meter square, or we can say that centimeter square. Whatever unit is mentioned in length and breadth the uh, this unit would be that one or we can write it square meter so let us take one example through which we'll understand how to solve area of rectangle i have an example find the area of rectangle whose length is four centimeter and breadth is six centimeter so this is the rectangle where length is four and the breadth is six centimeter units are important so now we have to find the area of rectangle area of rectangle what is the formula of area of rectangle we'll try to remember this formula what is the area of rectangle length into breadth so what is length length is four centimeter and breadth is six centimeter so what will be the solution 24 centimeter square as i told you if the units are in centimeter then our area will be in centimeter square or we can write it like 24 square centimeter. This is the way we use to find a area of rectangle. So we learn how to find a find out the area of a square. So you must know that square is also a different kind of rectangle whose sides are equal. Now you must be confused. Don't be confused because we all know that the rectangle has equal length, this length and length, length, the, these two sides are equal and the, these two sides are equal. So if we see these two sides are equal, these two sides are equal in the square. So we can say that the square is a special case where, a, where length and breadth are equal. So the area of a square is what? Side into side. This is the formula of area of a square uh, earlier what we used to do length into breadth now here side into side let us take one question whether it is asking find the area of a square find the area where side 
is 6 cm. Now, how will you find? Area of square is what? 6. Side into side. So, one side is what? 6 cm. We all know that the all, side, all sides should, uh, should be 6 cm only. So, 6 into 6. What will get? 36. Again, the important thing that the unit with 6 cm, 6 cm, it will become 6 cm square or 36 square cm. This is the way we are solving our problems where the question asks find the area of a rectangle or a square because these type of shapes are regular, uh, regular shapes and its formula is already derived. I hope you understand these type, these two shapes. Now we'll understand how to solve few questions. There, I have one question where it is saying perimeter of chest boot is 120 centimeter. Find the area of chest boot. Uh, I hope you all understand what is perimeter. Perimeter is the total length of the boundary. We have done it earlier also. So here they are asking the area of chest boot. So what is chest boot? This is the chest boot its perimeter is 120 centimeter so first of all we all know that chest boards are square in shape so we know the area the formula of, um, of this area would be side into side but what we need to find out we need to find out the side so perimeter of square is what square is 4 times of side. I hope you all know this thing. Okay. So, 4 into side is what? 120 centimeter. Now, we can say that the 120 divided by 4 is equals to side. Here, when we interchange our sign, this multiplication become division here so it will become 30 one of my side is 30 centimeter now i need to find out the area so what is the formula of area area of square is what side multiply by side we all know one of its side and it's a square. So all the sides must be equal. So we can say that the area of chest board is. Area of chest board. Is. 30 multiplied by 30. Most important thing the units as it is centimeter here. So centimeter multiply by centimeter. So three threes are nine. It will be 900 centimeter square. I hope you all understand how to find the area if we have perimeter of uh, any square or rectangle. We can easily able to solve. Now, the next topic is area of right angle triangle. What is right angle triangle? Where one of angle is one of uh, angle is 90 degree and sides are two sides are equal. So, those type of triangle are called right angle triangle. So, you all can see this uh, paper. Uh, this is a square. Okay. What, what will happen if I divide it into two equal parts? Does it become a uh, triangle? Okay. So, this is a triangle. You all can see that this is a triangle where these two sides are equal. And this angle is 90 degree. Okay. If I draw this one like this. So. This is a triangle. Earlier. Was it a square? And what is the area of a square? Area of a square is side into side. So now. If, we, if I need to find out the area of triangle. Right angle triangle. What it can be? If, can we say that? If it is a square. Can I say that? It is half into area of a square. Yes. 
because earlier it was square so now it has become a right angle triangle so i put it half here because what i have done i have half of a square so can i say that this is side into side okay this is one thing if my triangle whose sides are not like suppose this one is not a square this is a rectangle then what will be what will be my area so area of area of right angle triangle if it is a rectangle can i say that half of length into breadth there is also a le half because the area of rectangle is length into breadth but what i have done i have reduced it into half so area of a right angle triangle is half of length into breadth again i am saying unit plays a very important role we'll understand through one example i have one question which ask find the area of the shaded triangle we can say that this is the triangle okay we need to find out its area for area of a triangle or for finding area what we need we need length and breadth so here the breadth is 3 cm but i don't know the length of this part as we can see that this is a rectangle so this side is 10 cm this side also must be 10 cm so we know that the area of right angle triangle is half of length into breadth so what is my length what is my length length is 10 cm and breadth is 3 cm so it would be 30 cm cm is cm square so 30 divided by 2 or we can say that if nothing is here we can consider it as a 1 so 30 multiplied by 1 become 30 2 multiplied by 1 become 2 cm square which gives us 50 cm square this is the area of this shaded portion i hope you understand how to find out the area, area of regular shapes guys if you like my content if you understand the concept which i am teaching please like and subscribe my channel thank you all for supporting me